Hello everyone, in this video, we will learn how to make buttons active and inactive, and we will also make the camera rotation smooth. When we first play, we understand that the walking mode is active, so in the taskbar menu, we need to make the walk button active by changing its color to gray. Similarly, when we press the editing button, we should change its color to gray to indicate that is active. Now let's go back to the editor and open BP main widget and go to the designer menu. We want to make this button active by changing its color to gray and disabling its input. To do this, select the walk button. Then in the detail panel, scroll down and click on on click it then disconnect the wire this will make the button non-functional access the widget folder in the content browser duplicate bp main widget and rename the widget to bp top pound Go back to the editor, open BP main widget, select the work button, and in the detail panel, expand the normal, hovered, and press menu. Then change the tint color to gray. To keep color consistent, right click on the color selector and choose copy, and then paste the color for hover and press states. Click on the search button in the main icon and click on this arrow button to use the same icon. Compile and perform a quick test. Now when you press the tab key, the taskbar will appear with the work button in gray and the button will be non-clickable. Next we will do the same for the edit pen button. When we press the edit button, we will be in the top pound mode. And when we press the tab key, the taskbar will appear again. But this time, we will make the work button active again and the pen button gray. To do this, go back to the editor and open the duplicated BP top pound. If the menu is missing, enable the animation menu below and slide the timeline to the right. Select the work button, go to detail panel, scroll down and click on on click it. Previously, we disabled it. Now, re-enable the button. Then go back to the designer menu. Now, we will make the edit button gray. Copy the color value from BP main widget and paste it onto the pen button, following the same steps as before. While the button is still selected, scroll down in the detail panel and click on unclicked and disable the input for this button compile and perform a quick test when you press the tab key the menu has not changed we will change it to bp top pound go back to the editor and open the top pound blueprint 
in the create widget, now change the widget to BP top pound. And remove any error nodes. For the return value of this widget, pull out and find get fed out under the top pound category. Connect the wire and compile. The next important step is to change the data of a variable in BP main widget. In the left menu, select BP main widget. In the variables and change its name to BP top pound. and also change its variable to BP top pound. Then compile and perform a quick test. Up to this point, we have successfully made the button active and inactive by changing the colors. Next step is to make the camera rotation of the pound smooth. To do this, go back to the editor and open BP first person character. In the top left menu, click the plus button and add a spring M. Then select first person camera and drag it into spring M, making the camera component a part of the spring M. Go to the viewport tab select first person camera and in the detail panel on the right ensure that the location and rotation are set to zero for all values select the spring arm and change the target arm length to zero Move the Z transform upwards or change its value to 50. Still in the detail panel, scroll down and enable enable camera rotation leg. Compile and perform a quick test. If the rotation leg effect is not noticeable, Go back to the editor. Select first person camera and in the camera option disable use pound control rotation. In the spring arm enable use pound control rotation and set the leg speed to 15. Compile and perform a quick test again. Now the effect should be noticeable. Next, we clear the text in the print string for both pounds and the blueprints widget.
One more issue is that when we are in top pound mode and click the work button, the fade out animation for the taskbar doesn't work. To solve this, go back to the editor and open BP Man widget. Find the play animation area and add a delay after the play animation node with a value of 0.5. Similarly, in the top pound, add a delay after the play animation node with the same value. At this point, we have successfully completed the work and edit buttons and added a smooth effect to both pounds. See you in the next course.